Hey everybody, it's the Musical Gamer again. Welcome back to Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles for Chapter 5, The Cloden Wildwood. And I can't open this bottle of water. Th there we go. Okay, now I have water. We are here at Chapter 5, The Cloden Wildwood. Last time in Chapter 4, we completely took Vasil Bridge and dumped the entirety of the Imperial Advance there into the river. Very entertaining to watch. I also couldn't find the enemy ace. Uh, oops. I actually don't know where the enemy ace is in this one either. I should have probably looked that up, but it's a little too late to look that up now. Um, I don't. I won't normally do this during the course of this let's play because it's going to be short enough as is. But I took the liberty of doing a couple of well, that I'll do off screen if I need to. But I did some skirmishes to get some more um, experience and money off screen. But what I won't normally do is I actually took the liberty of buying all of the um, uh, the upgrades. The, uh, actually, one thing I can do is look at the cemetery, because I got the healing order order uh, already already as well. I leveled everybody up to level 5. I recommend you get them to at least level 5 before taking on, well, chapter 5. And I researched all new weaponry and all tank upgrades as well. The uh, only thing I didn't do was Castle Front Street and War Cemetery. Let's go take a look at that now, actually, while I'm thinking of it. Otherwise, I'll forget, and we will never see it till much later. And better sooner than later, I think. Hello again, son. Hello, old man. I'm sorry, but... Oh, he doesn't have any, uh... He doesn't have any new orders for us. Okay, that's that's fine. Wasn't sure if he would or not. Well, let's go check out Ellet and her establishment over here. Hey! Dropping by... Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Don't worry about oh, me. Oh, and how about the new rising star of Squad 7, huh? I've heard some wild stories. You must be proud. Um, really? I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. You'll have to read it once I get it all drafted up. Oh dear. Somehow I don't like the sound of that. Anyway, the militia claims the Basil Bridge. Once again, if you want to read this, just pause the video and read it. I'm not going to bother. And golly, to pull out of north. Ooh, that's actually not good. Thousand. Remember that name for later, viewers. We'll be going there. Actually, that's the name of a town. Come to make a and does she have anything new? No, she doesn't. Okay. Then that was really all we needed to do. Sweet. Now we can just keep going. Uh, oh, I also gave the uh, the weapon I forgot to give a shot trooper last time to Rosie. So she's got a different gun. And the personnel tab has been updated. Cool. Okay. Mission, or not mission. Scene one. Let's see what happens this time. And the exploits of Squad 7. I don't know, Squad 7 just doesn't really sound that intimidating to me. Thanks in part to Squad 7, the Great Vassal Bridge is back in our hands. That pushed the front line back, forcing the Empire to gather forces in central Gallia. Does this mean we're headed that way as well? The army will take that front. Meanwhile, the militia will head south. South? What's south? Our next target is here, in the Cloden area. Oh, okay, so there's the Wildwood. The Cloden Wildwood. I was there last summer taking soil samples. Oh, really? Then I'd assume you know the area. It's a dense forest with plenty of hills and valleys. It's hard to get around in there. Well, that's not good. What's our strategic objective there, Captain? The Empire has set up a supply base there to fuel their invasion of central Gallia. I see. So if we seize the supply base, we cut off the flow of supplies moving north. Yeah, then we can cause some disarray and maybe have Precisely. them pull out. The third regiment's objective is to take that base. All squads are to prepare for woodland combat and await orders. Good luck. Dismissed. Woodland combat, okay. Woodland combat? What a nightmare. What do you mean? Yeah, wh what do you mean? The woods dull your sense of direction, and poor roads make for slow advances. Oh no. This'll be our toughest operation yet. Maybe so, but deeper in the woods you have a better chance of spotting rare foliage. Uh, Welkin, that's... There's one kind of insectivorous plant in Cloden called the Moondew that can suck a... Welkin, we're not going there for a nature trip! Alright, I get it. You really do have a one-track mind, you know that? Jesus! You need to set your priorities, you man! Nature isn't just a burden. We might find the key to victory in the woods. Well, All keep right. dreaming. I'll keep a lookout for your key while I'm slogging along. Hopefully your plant won't have eaten it. 
Oh, knowing nature, that actually might happen. I don't know. My dad recently bought a Venus flytrap for some reason. I don't know why. We had one way many years ago. I think he forgot about it. But it just died. And he bought a new one because he got conned into buying one. He was going food shopping. It was... <laughs> I, <laughs> me and my mom were just like, what are you doing? Do you realize how pointless this is? Uh, well, for a man with typo blood, he does, he just doesn't like mosquitoes. They're attracted to typo blood. Apparently it's something like flower nectar to them. At least it's similar in chemical structure. And, oh dear, Berthold Gregor, leader of the Northern Gallian Invasion. He Gallia's mongrels is have reclaimed a demon. Vassal Bridge. Are the men of our defensive units cowards? This loss is a stain on the Emperor's honor. Useless fools. So now we're getting some insight into who I we're hear fighting. The enemy cross the river in tanks. Raddy Jaeger, leader them, of the Southern no Gallian invasion. On the contrary, this was a fluke. These are peasants, nothing more. Peasants and barbarians. Hey, I resent that. Else? If birthright is all it takes to win a battle, you must find war so very boring. Uh-oh, you pissed him off. The issue here... Salveria is Bless, leader of the Italian Central Gallian invasion. Swiftly and decisively. Exactly. They'll use their victory at Vassal Bridge as footing for a counter-strike in Central Gallia. And that would How be your territory, proceed? Salveria. What says your grace? Your grace? Oh no. Oh no! We it's the man in charge! Flames. Our course is clear. The Gallian army must be crushed. It's the big cheese himself, the head honcho. The big kahuna! It's Prince of the, the Empire, Empire Maximilian, commander of the Gallian Gallia. invasion front. So this is the face of the enemy. Now then. The route of supply through Cloden has to be made unshakable. Gregor, see to a restructuring of our central forces. Then you will continue to press northward. Sir. We will head to Barius. Selvaria, be so kind as to accompany us there. With pleasure. And to the ends of the earth, your grace. The Cloden base and supply lines. See to them, Jaeger. They need protecting. Gallia may have already dispatched troops to the south. Therefore, make haste to Cloden. Of course. Leave it to me, Your Grace. Oh, God. Somehow, I don't like how this is shaping up. They already know we're en route for the Cloden Wildwood. Ooh, this is gonna be one tough fight, if that's the case. Just the tank sitting in the middle of the woods. What are we doing? Remind me whose idea was it to come out here anyway? Your superior. With the trees already. Hey, you could say don't knock again. the trees. Woods are so thick you can't unless you're knocking them down. down. These trees. What, Welkin? What, what, what are you doing? Here we go. What the hell are those? Oh, great. What did he find? A map in the dirt. <laughs> uh. Welkin, what are you doing? Hold on to these for me, will you? Sure, Welkin. What are these? Some kind of nuts? No. Actually, they're long beard goat droppings. Ah! Gross! <laughs> you made me hold poo? Are you crazy? Ugh. Hey, Welks. Did you find something useful? No, you just found shit. Come here. Take a look at this. Well, that's one way to gain the trust of your subordinates. Just make them hold goat crap. The grass has been trampled down, looks like. What's the deal with that? An animal trail. With any luck, this could be our way out. So the nature boy to the rescue? To find the most efficient path. That's why the grass is trampled down. They snap off the branches, they eat the grass. As a result, they clear a perfect trail. So if we make like goats and follow it, the path will take us through. I can't believe the it. enemy supply base should be nearby. This is where we'll start our operation. I can't freaking believe it. Nature Boy 1. 
Nature Boy found something. Nature Boy just... Oh, that wouldn't happen in real life. Uh, well, can why? Why must you throw common sense out the window? Why must you do these things? Why must you make me look like a fool? <sighs> why am I complaining? La, 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 That's really nice, Rosie. What song is that? It's so pretty. Hmm? Oh, just a song I sang back in the day. Many moons ago. Oh, you used to be a singer? I didn't know that. Yes, she did. We found out about that in Ellet's little, uh, snippet. Ha. Huh. You paint a much prettier picture than it was. I used to sing at a bar in my town. At an old that city bar really that's never to too far. Ah, uh, made me think of Trans-Siberian. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little show one of these days. Well, don't put on a show now. We're in enemy territory. You're not alone here. And, oh dear. I'll go investigate. Put your hands in the air. Huh? If you have hands? It's a pig? It looks like a porcavian piglet. Wait a minute. Does that pig have wings? That pig has wings. Must be drinking its Red Bull. What's your story? Get separated from your mom? Oh god, if it was drinking its Red Bull, wouldn't that be considered cannibalism? Aww. Aren't bulls a type of pig? I'll take a look further in. <sighs> well, what did you find? There must have been a skirmish here. It looks like a stray bullet hit his mother. Oh no, the pig's an orphan! Oh. Wait a minute, it's a pig! We eat pigs! I had pork He's for dinner tonight! You lost your family too, huh, little guy? Left all alone. But it's well, Alicia, so sad. Want to come with us? It looks so sad, and we're bringing a pig what? with us. Can we? We're the militia. Every Gallian has the right to join. Um, Welkin, I don't think it works like that. You hear that? As of today, you're a member of Squad Seven, little guy. Monk? No. Well, I guess every. I guess every army unit needs its mascot. I can't believe ours is a freaking pig. Well, anyway, let's begin the mission Wildwood Warfare at Cloden. Surely, how tough could this be? Well, anyway, here we go. The enemy's supply base is located at the east end of these woods, tucked behind a tight defensive line. That line is, well, yay there, that red thing. Your squad will sweep in and attack from the west to capture it and cut off their lifeline. I suggest you hit the base hard, or hard, well yeah, hard, base head on with your tank while foot soldiers take the north path behind the enemy's back. Your objective is to, is the occupation of the enemy's base camp. I'm saying words that aren't even there. Tread carefully, I suspect they've planted mines all across the area leading up to the base. And we have the introduction of mines. They are very annoying. I'll annoying? Annoying, even. I'll explain more when we get into the mission. We should be able to see them, though, but be careful. Accidentally stepping on one will mean major damage. She's not joking. An engineer can dismantle a landmine by approaching it and pressing the OK button with the command appears. Also, remember that a tank can roll over landmines without sustaining damage. That's another way to clear the road. That's... Only true right now, later on that won't be the case. Conversely, foot soldiers can walk on the larger anti-tank mines unharmed, but a tank will take tread damage. Yeah, that that's why. I don't know if they are... Are there anti-tank mines in this map? I forget. I know there's personnel mines. That is definitely not a good thing, but well, hey. Anyway, now we actually have the option of putting everybody... Um, of getting everybody in this uh, place. Okay, so how do I normally... Well, I definitely want an engineer with a tank. That is, that is a sure. Uh, you're definitely not going to want anybody to bring anybody with pollen allergy to this uh, to this mission. Uh, yeah. So Nadine, you're out. I'm sorry. <laughs> this whole place is a friggin' woods. Uh, Dallas might not be a bad idea. Metalhead, lonely, undodgeable shot, defense boost. That's his women. Desert allergy man hater. 
city gets shut in defense, but you know what? Uh, Dallas, you can uh, you can come in. And let's uh, sniper's not really gonna be helpful here. Let's put Frisia. Yeah, let's put Frisia there. Or wait, no. But Alex or who do I want? Acrobat, Scout Killer, Knee Freak, Desert Allergy, Fancies Women, Country Bread. Actually, no, put Edie. Country Bread will be very helpful here. That's a uh, uh, a bonus if you're on a dirt road. Gonna be plenty of those here. Uh, Child of Nature. That's actually a negative one for cities, right? Uh, so, Frisia and Edie. Let's put Dallas in the back. And uh, let's put yeah, Largo. Actually, put Largo over where Frisia is because he's got lower AP. Frisia in the back. Okay, that'll be good for there. Over on this side, I'm going to want Alicia and Rosie. So we'll put Alicia there. Put Rosie on point. Let's put... Uh, let's put Wavy there in the back. Won't need a Lancer back there, so just put another Shock Trigger. Um, let's put... I don't know. Let's put Jane. She has some interesting uh, bonuses we could use. All right, well, this is it. Let's launch the objective. Now, let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. Oh, so am I. I'm actually, I'm slightly confident with this team. Only, um, slightly. But hey, we can, we can get this done. Shouldn't be a problem. You're definitely, you definitely don't want to put any, um, engineers or lancers or snipers over on the northern path. The enemy's supply base is through these woods. Squad 7, move out. In fact, actually, you really don't want a sniper for this mission at all. They're not really going to be helpful. There's no vantage points for them to go up. It's all wooded, so there's a lot of trees blocking the way. The tank will follow the road to the south. Team 2, take the trail to the base. All right, listen up, and I'll explain. Team attacks. Uh, I've only sort of talked about this in passing. Yeah, I only sort of talked about that in passing. We've seen it, though. Uh, if you attack... Well, like, if you have two people or three people bunkered down together, and they all have line of sight on one enemy when you're targeting it with one of your units, if you attack it, um, your other units can attack with you and do more damage and potentially kill the troop, even if you couldn't have killed it by yourself. And it doesn't cost any CP to do it, so it's very convenient. Uh, that's another thing with the likes, uh, who, which unit likes which unit, like, uh, personality-wise. That has something to do with it. Uh, if they actually like the other person, there's a higher chance of them being able to do that. So that's one of the bonuses for it, but like I said, it's not really worth it trying to plan that. Okay, where do I want to go first? We have actually have a camp here that we can take, as well as a camp there. And then our objective's all the way in the back there, so they really make us work for it. Hmm. They have a tank there. Oh god, they have a medium tank. That's new. That's a stronger version than the light tank we've been fighting this to this point. Two Lancers there. Uh, let's actually just start rolling up the tank. Here we go! Let's just start with this. This should be easy, and I'm going to look at the ground like this just so I don't roll over any mines. Anti-tank gunner recited on the north bank. Pushing ahead could prove dangerous. Uh-oh, that's not good. We'll have to hope Team 2 can take it out from behind. Okay, and yeah, that's why you really... That's why you can't just do a, an assault on one end. You gotta actually use both teams. Because they have these things over here. Anti-tank cannons. This is a direct path of Team 2 over there on the north bank. Well, I can't really... Yeah, there are some mines right there. I think those are actually anti-tank mines. So, that's actually not good. Now, if I could actually land this shot, this would kill the anti-tank gunner. Well, there's not really much else Welkin can do. So, I might as well just try and take a shot for luck. 
And it worked. Oh my god. Who are these guys? I don't know who I am. That's ridiculous. And oh god, there's a mine right in front of me. I missed that completely. Okay then. Uh, let's start moving team two, shall we? Rosie, you first. Mines, mines. Oh, there's a soldier mine. You can bring an engineer back here, but I don't recommend it. Oh, hello you. And I can't target you. Son of a bitch. All right, well, nothing I can do about that. Rosie just couldn't move far enough. I could have one of the scouts do it. Uh, how about... I could use either Alicia or Wavy. Ah, uh, Wavy, you go first. I just gotta remember not to make any sharp turns on that corner. Otherwise, somebody's getting blown sky high. I do hope this won't sting. Oh, of course. New hostile, sir. How about it? Can you just kill him outright? Three or two headshots. Good job, sir. Good job. And that was a leader, too. Less even for them makes me happy. Your orders, sir. All right. Well, we've done this, and now we can take the base. All right. Good. We have a foothold. We have a foothold. Um, I'm wondering if I should actually... I'm wondering if I should send him away. No. You know what? I'm going to keep him. If anything, I might send my other shock trooper back here away. Uh, okay, well, we've taken out this base pretty much, and we can kind of keep pushing forward. Let's move forward with... Uh, actually, no, let's move forward with Edie? I don't know who to move forward with. Well, let's move forward with Freezia. We need a scout's eyes for this. Then I'll move forward with Dallas, clear that mine, and... See what else she can do. Provided I can't do much else. And then I'll move Largo up. Okay. This could be bad. If I get lucky, maybe I can take one of these Lancers out. Ah, damn it, I couldn't kill him. Okay. Take cover behind that tree. I hope to God they don't blow that tree up. At least if they try to, they miss. All right, Dallas. Right away. Your turn. Uh, you should be able to kill that Lancer, though, so that'll be easy for you to do. And definitely clear that mine. Take out that supply base. Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that mine. Good. Okay. Tank can pass through safely now. Kind of far away, but you should actually be able to kill him. Especially if you get one headshot. You actually managed it. <laughs> Holy crap. Good shooting. Okay. Good shooting there, Dallas. I don't exactly like you as a city, but you as an engineer, I don't mind. All right, let's move Largo up. We're going to need his help to take out that tank. One other way, one other thing you can do, but it's kind of a waste of CP in my opinion, is you can bring a Lancer. You can start a Lancer in the back or you can summon one from the uh, base over there. You can do that, uh, and you can bring them around back here to take out this tank. I think it's a waste of CP, though, because it's going to take a couple CP just to get a Lancer through there in one phase. So, it's not really worth it, in my opinion. Um, yeah, move Edie up. We're going to need to, we're going to need to push up completely from this side. Just to move you up. Okay. Now, those three are kind of together. Uh, Alicia. My turn, okay? Now it's your turn. Everybody is going to be moving up. Yeah, I think what I might do is I might spend a uh, CP in a phase or two to get that other shock trooper and retreat him. Just so I have more... Oh, God, there's a mine there. Uh, just so I have more leverage to play around with if I ever want to summon in a new unit. Most likely if I ever want to bring in another Lancer, or if one of my engine if my engineer dies and I need to bring in a new one. Oh, 
Oh! Nuts! Haha, <laughs> good dodge, Alicia. You can't get the drop on me like that! Good shooting there. You've actually managed to do that pretty well. Now what are they gonna do? Oh god! Woo! That could have been bad if that was a direct hit. Take this. Oh, good shooting there, Dallas. Not bad. Yeah, Frisia taking cover behind that tree is probably not the smartest idea I've had in my life. And that tank completely missed. Okay, I'm not gonna complain. And they're moving around in the base. We can't exactly see that because we don't have a line of sight. Ah, uh, but we can see another anti-tank cannon up there in the back. We're definitely going to want to go and take that out. That is that is definitely a goal we should have. About evasion, I've already explained this. Okay. Um, well, I'll spend a CP to start to moving stop. you forward, Jane. I mean, uh, you really weren't needed. Whoops! Just because you weren't needed didn't mean I wanted to blow you up. Oh well, you're about to retreat anyway, so I'm not really, I'm not really too bothered. Get ready to die, imps. Okay, get out of here. All right, now that that's taken care of, uh, let's see. Let's move Rosie forward, and if she can take care of that shock trooper in the front. Can she see him? Yes, she can. Cool. And let's see how this uh, Imperial gun works. I don't really think she's going to be able to... Here I come. Yeah, and she's not going to be able to hurt him much. However, he really couldn't shoot because we had slight cover. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, back on this... Back in this neck of the woods. Let's push Largo forward. Have him smash that tank upside the head. That tank had a head. Six shots. Wow, that's gonna that's gonna take a while. No, not Ragnade. You're done. Well, five shots. Have you secured a view of the field there? Hmm. Uh okay, Wilkin. Entering combat. Your turn. Uh, this this tank is going to be a real annoyance to take out. I can already tell. Three shots to kill. Two shots to kill. <sighs> this is this is gonna take a while. Oh, this is going to take a while. Alright, Edie. Rush forward and if you can take out that Lancer, that would be wonderful. Ah, I think he's crouching. Can your grenade reach? No, of course not. I think he's crouching. Is he crouching? I'm... Ah, no, he's definitely crouching. With the, with the way his lance is shaped, he is definitely crouching. Well, you've hurt him. That's really all I could ask for. We definitely need to take out that Lancer. Northern End is not really going to be getting much movement, but, well. Five shots to kill? Oh, you're going to have to land each shot, Dallas. And, of course, you couldn't. Oh, well. Let's start clearing these mines, shall we? I'm working on the railroad all the live long day. I like disarming mines in the Galleon Woods today. And let's have her push back here. There's a reason for that, and I will explain it in a phase or two. There is a reason you want to send an engineer down that way. Or, well, really anybody. Uh, either an engineer or a scout, because they have the most AP out of any other unit. 
Okay. Now what do I want to do? Do I want... Yeah, you know what? My turn, okay? I'm gonna have to... Whew. I'm gonna have to kill this guy. Now. Kill that Debbie Downer. And I'm gonna have Alicia just step back a little bit. Just so that Shock Trooper over there in the corner has to work for it if he wants to try and kill anybody. Yeah, just uh, get back down here with Rosie. Um... Yeah, like that. That'll be good. Okay. And let's see what happens.